Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. And Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Samson Lookwood. First of all, good to see you again, Samson. Thank you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Uh, you got your you got your, your your big dog fighting this week, Dave Benavidez. You know he's fighting uh, Vazdik in a in a in what figures to be a tough fight, light heavyweight debut. Uh, I, I I wanted to ask you. Uh, well, first I wanted to ask your thoughts. What do you think about the matchup, him and Vazdik? It be a tough fight because uh, probably uh, got Nick. It will be about 15, 20 pounds over him. But uh, in the way in, it be you know 75. And then if he go over 200 pounds, he will fight him anyway, but it's not an easy fight. Yeah, it's a little different than when he was at 68 and he was bigger than most of the guys. Well, no, at 68, he was the biggest one, Benavides. Now he's the smallest one. Yeah. But uh, he will fight whoever come in front of him. Do, do you think with him being smaller, he's gonna show maybe more of his skills? Because David was more so known for getting stoppage victories, but now he can show more of his skills? Yeah, mo most likely we have a, to show exactly the skill uh, to confront a bigger man. He'd be the biggest man that he confronted uh, in his career, you know. Okay, okay. And I know like uh, Vazic's affiliated with uh, uh, Eddie, Eddie Reynoso and Canelo and people want to see the Canelo Benavides fight. Do, do you feel like because this fight got done, it makes it easier to do the Canelo fight uh, in the future? I, I don't think so. No? We have nothing to do. Don't mix the orange with apples. <laughs> It's totally different. It's still different. He did it because he's getting paid well and he wants to beat him. So he motivated not only the boxer, if not the, the, the trainer. Like this, he can, uh, you know, be the angel that he is looking for to beat Benavides and not to claim any more Canelo. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like check, using him as a pawn, kind of, right? That, that's correct. Get him so out the way. That, that he will motivate the fighter. Plus, remember, he's from Ukraine. And now we have uh, like four Ukrainian champions and three or four. And they can't lose right now, the Ukrainians. That's so right. It's they tough. Lose. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Um, have there been any, I guess, negotiations with Canelo? Because I know, like, you know, he's at 75 now. But is that is that a possibility? Yeah, yeah. Go I, I don't think so. It, it ever happened. It's up to uh, only Benavides to make a decision. I'm talking about David, mm -hmm. the Mexican monster Benavides. Is the only one that he will make a decision after the fight how he feel in 75 it's a light heavyweight and then then after you know the fight most likely in the interview he will say what he won okay okay so we'll it's a totally secret even for the team here for you no yeah. he said he will, he will make a decision after he see how he feel okay and the fight that is that's to show you how professional he is yes you know just I mean? stay focused on the task at hand is he doesn't have focus now in canelo now is you want to fight this fight and, and see how he feels okay um boxing scene wrote a really interesting article about the you know how boxing in america hasn't had like a, a pay-per-view star since floyd do you, do you feel benavidez is is, is going to step into that role uh, no i think i'm for sure because he have the mexican blood mm -hmm. the american blood and the Equatorian blood, that is the one that uh, my wife is. So <laughs> I love this kid. So yeah. <laughs> I, I believe that it definitely would be the, uh, the, the face of the boxing. Next to Tank Davis. Oh, okay, Don't course. take away Tank Davis. No, no, of course friend. not. No, you, you, you're the benefit of these guys, so that's why but I got to ask. But look, PVC, you have a good fighters, you know, and we continue working hard. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of rumors, but at the end of the day, let's enjoy the fights. This fight Saturday, and then you will find out what coming with PBC. PBC will never die. We will never die. Um, I know, like uh, at their arrivals, right? When he, when David Benavidez arrived, it took him like 10 to 15 minutes just to get to the door. So he, um, I feel like the boxing fans they they gravitate towards him. Why do you feel boxing fans gravitate towards David Benavidez so much? Well. Uh, Canelo say that uh, Benavides' fame now is thanks to him. So he believed that he's uh, good enough not to fight him. So <laughs> he make his dues. Uh, he claimed he would not fight Mexican. He claimed he would not fight uh, because he didn't accomplish anything. He, he say that he About one champion, fight. you know. Yeah. And, uh, but I believe that uh, in his own fantasy, 
Berlanga, he did much more and Benavides. He's so fucking stupid, you know, but you know, it's what it is. Well, it's like what uh, Oscar De La Hoya had that, that video that he put out recently where he said that uh, Canelo was so scared of Benavides, he, he, he paid Munguia, he paid a guy in Oscar he didn't even like to not fight Benavides. Well, uh, I know Oscar is, uh, I consider my friend. Okay. Uh, when he started, uh, he's uh, on 2002, uh, no, 2001, his company, uh, I was the first matchmaker he ever oh, were you? Yeah, yeah. and I worked 10 years with, uh, with Oscar and Eric Gomez, and it's like my family. So sometimes it go out of line, but I love him anyway. <laughs> you know, you hate and love. Yeah, he But, he... Uh, but I, I, I love uh, Oscar, especially uh, Eric Gomez is like my really, uh, he's like my son, so. Yeah. And it's another thing, I'm working with every promoter. PVC allowed me to do that. And you see my fighters in every uh, network or platform. No, for sure. And that what is good for uh, the, the fights. For sure, for sure. Well, I know you don't know what's going to happen with Benavidez as far as him as a light heavyweight, but you know, um, there, there's one guy that he does have a bit of history with so, uh, at 175, better BF, because I remember, and I actually wanted to ask you about this, because I never understood why you guys did this. Um, if you remember, I, th I think it was Angulo. I can't remember the fight it was where he missed weight on the scale, and then the WBC moved up to number one at 175. Oh. Remember that? Yeah, and, yeah. And then, yeah. And, then, and then and then you guys asked to be reinstated back at the 168 rankings. That's correct. Why, why, why didn't you guys maybe try to make a, a, a lane at light heavyweight earlier? No, because it's a 68 pounder. Okay, okay. You see, let me explain to you something that you people will know. Mm -hmm. uh, the WBC, you have a system that mm -hmm. you need to have a 10, a 30, 30 days before the fight, you need to be no more than 10% of the division. Uh, then 15, on the 15 days, and the seven days, and the third, uh, three days. It was only a couple of fans over 68. Yeah, yeah. It was not the 75. And I told him, you're not 75. <laughs> but he said, you know, he want to try and we see. So, so you feel like at, the, at that time, was it unfair for them to, to do that, to put him at number one? Uh, no, because he's 68, he missed, because he didn't have a shot to train correctly. Okay. Because it pandemic. was a pandemic. pandemic. Mm -hmm. It was uh, one hour a, a day only to go to the gym. So it was not his fault. He was not prepared to fight, and that cost us a lot of money, many millions. Yeah. <laughs> More than you want to remember. That's you right. Know? <laughs> Um, if if he does stay at seventy five, and let's say he fights the winner, it better be at Bivol. How do you how do you how do you see those fights like playing out? I mean, I know well, you... this will happen in twenty twenty five because yeah. if I in October he had the rematch mm -hmm. and all this uh, situation, so it's better not to talk about that now. Okay, because just, just it's wait too and far. see. We're talking about twenty twenty five. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do, do you feel like PBC has enough um, options a lot headway for Benavides if he stays there? He will have option in 68 and he will have option in 75. Okay. When you you want to be the, the face of the, of the sport, you need to... Have some options. You know, yeah. you need to have an option and you need to prove that he will fight anyway. Okay. Okay. I, I know um, Morel is, is going at the 175 and that's been a fight that's been talked about a lot. Yeah, yeah. no, Morel, we will fight Morel in 68 or 75. No question about it because it's under contract. This year? We have we have a contract, probably 2025. Okay. so that's... Because we have it under contract that both guys from PVC and both guys have a contract that they will fight each other. But, but it's already signed? We need to... He signed contract. Oh, sure. Morel and Benavides. And Benavides, he, okay. he have a signed contract to fight. You know, on on a, when he signed the a promotional contract mm -hmm. with me, one of the names is was Morel. Uh, Morel. That is what he been signed. And Morel, when he signed with PBC, he have that same. Oh, so it's team. already it's already written. But, you know, you need to marinate for both of these kids to make money. It's a tough fight. And, and uh, most likely, it will have a good, I would never say payday, <laughs> like somebody else like, said. Yeah, yeah, like, like cinema. But it will yeah. make the money that he deserves, Morel. And he's my personal friend too, so, you know. I, I will, I, I'd be happy, but, you know, I love this kid. You uh, know, it's business, Morel you know? Yeah, it's business. it's business. You used the interesting word, you said uh, marinate. And I know, like, years ago when uh, people wanted to see Caleb Plant and ben Benavides fight, like in 2020, you said, oh, yeah. no, it's not time yet, we gotta wait a little bit. From a manager's standpoint or a promoter's standpoint, 
What, 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 um, when do you, when is it the right time to well, stop marinating a fight? Okay, you as planned, yeah. Samson, he was right. <laughs> you know. Because that check cleared. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, so, but this is what it is. Okay, okay. All right. Any, any final message, Samson? Because I don't want to hold you up too much longer. Any, any final, I'm, 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 I'm going to end the interview, but any final message you have for the boxing fans? Uh, don't miss this fight. It's very dangerous fight. It will go. 20 pounds over Benavides, uh, Volotsky, and, uh, and and you have his country, and you have Eddie Reynoso that this fight, he do not want to fight, to lose, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, got to, must win, must so win. So much win situation for uh, Eddie Reynoso. Besides that, he have uh, already few losses in, in this year that he want to make up. So I wish him good luck, actually. Right. I wouldn't wish him good luck because it's not true. I'm not, never mind. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Samson. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.